Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we are going to talk about White Russian and the Big Lebowski. So, if you're old enough to watch this video, you probably know what a White Russian is. And let's just make one. Let's get a glass. whatever ice you can find. Let's pour in a liberal amount of Kalua coffee liqueur. Then let's pour in some uh, also liberal amount of vodka, maybe a bit more. Go check your fridge for any dairy products you might have. Smell it to see if it if it's still fine and drop it on top like that. Well yes, that beautiful effect and then just mix it with your finger. In this way you get the full Lebowski experience. Cheers. So, why White Russian? It really became famous because of the movie The Big Lebowski. And if you haven't seen the movie, what's wrong with you? And uh, But if you really haven't seen it because you're too young or something, watch it. But if you still don't want to watch it, the story of Bill Lebowski is modeled after those of hard-boiled detective novels, uh, especially from the pulp era, from the 30s, 40s. But why those detective, Seamus, Dick, Private Eye, they were drinking really cool drinks because they were cool detective that solved crime, the dude isn't a detective. So the Cohen brothers, writers and director of the Bill Lebowski movie, they just assigned to him the crappiest dream they could find. Of course, that backfired because the dude, Lebowski, is not a private detective. He cannot solve crime, but he's just the most lovely guy ever. So as soon as the movie came out, Everybody went to the bar and ordered a white Russian. And then we found out it was not that great of a drink. The Kalua is pretty sweet, too sweet and vanilla-like. The vodka give it like an harsh character. And uh, well, you should really use uh, cream, heavy cream instead of milk, but hey, whatever. The dude will do it with anything he found in a bar or in a pantry or in a supermarket, doesn't matter. But now, let's see if we can fix this drink into something a bit better. If you search for White Russian on YouTube, you will find hundreds of uh, different recipes. And that's because the drink by itself, while a relatively sane concept, which is let's make a coffee drink, which tastes a bit like a cappuccino, executed like this with Kahlua and vodka is really not that great. Fixing it is relatively easy and there are many ways to do it. I came out with my home way, which is the Italian way, and I will propose two different variations of it using exactly the same ingredients. So let's move aside these ingredients and let's get our ingredients. We're gonna be using really heavy cream 47% fat, the fattest heavy cream you can find here in Japan, and it's awesome taste, absolutely gorgeous. Then, instead of the Kalua and the vodka, we are gonna use a rum. Why? Basically, the Kalua is a 20% alcohol liqueur based around rum. By adding the vodka in the white Russian, what you're really doing is just boosting up the alcohol level. So we just use a rum 
A ram like this one, the Diplomatico Mantuano from Venezuela, is a smooth ram which has some vanilla tones and some cacao notes, and uh, it's not too offensive. I mean, it doesn't have too much of a personality, and that's what we are going for. We just want it to melt nicely with the coffee component we are going to insert in the drink. As a coffee, we could brew a coffee, we could do a uh, cold brew coffee, we have uh, many options because I'm Italian, I just made a mocha espresso coffee. So I grinded my beans with uh, cheap coffee meals, uh, beans uh, which are espresso, uh, blended, toasted, nothing too expensive. I put them in a three person uh, mocha, waited for it to boil on the fire, set it uh, in a container, added one bar spoon of uh, Okinawa brown sugar, which is probably equivalent to Demerara sugar. Let it sit for a while, while uh, it cooled down a bit, and then put it in a tray for ice with small cubes. And this is important because when we are gonna then combine it with the other ingredients, we will want the cubes to melt right away. And this is what is the result. I got this tray of small coffee cubes. And this is gonna be enough for two cocktails. I'm gonna take this out from here and I will see you here in a bit. So we're gonna make the first version of the cocktail in a low glass, like an old fashioned glass. We're gonna use half the amount of uh, ice made from espresso we prepared. Then we add 45 milliliters of our rum, again, like something like smooth, vanilla-like. You really don't wanna use a, a fruity rum for this thing, or like something too harsh. And then we give it a stir, trying to melt as much of our coffee ice as possible. Making uh, smaller cubes make it easy to melt. And by making the coffee into ice, then we don't need to add any more dilution if we don't want to. Okay, I think this is about right. I'm just gonna add a couple more ice cubes. Let's give it a stir. And then I would like to serve the heavy cream separately because the best part of the experience of a cocktail like this is seeing the cream percolating through the cocktail. So we're gonna take 30 milliliters of uh, heavy cream and I'm gonna put it in this cute little container for milk yes and there you go you have the first white russian made julius style by serving the cream separately you can watch it drizzle through a drink So you get a nice look. Of course it should be served with a mixing stick, which I don't have yet. So let's use a coffee spoon. Mm. 
Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. This is nice. There are still a bit of uh, coffee ices, which are not melted, but they are really nice when you crunch them. For this aspect, it's important to put the sugar before freezing the ice. Mm. Nice, so espresso-like, it's not too sweet. We just put a small amount of sugar, but anyway, the sweetness is brought anyway by this rum and by the cream. It's a nice dessert to drink. So now let's put this on the side. And now I'm gonna show you with exactly the same ingredients, another version. So in this uh, second version, which is gonna be shaken, we are gonna lose the experience of dripping the cream on top of our cocktail, but I hope we will gain in uh, feeling and the foaminess that we are gonna produce by shaking our ingredients. So let's go right to it. Let's put the remaining of our ice. Let's put 45 milliliters of our Mantuan or rum. And let's put 30 milliliters of heavy cream. We just give it a good shake, trying to melt all the ice we have. You see, by shaking the cream with the ice, we got all this foaminess that developed. Of course, yeah, we don't have a contrast on black and white anymore. It just comes out this nice cappuccino color. We are just gonna uh, decorate it with uh, three coffee beans, one for Donny, one for Walter, and one for the dude. And there you go, shaken version of my white Russian, it doesn't have a name yet, cheers. Mm. Mm. This is wonderful, it's just yeah like drinking a cappuccino, but alcoholic, but again the alcohol in this case is not harsh. It's not like the vodka you get in a normal white Russian. And the foam on top is so tasty. I just hope I don't develop some mustache here. Mm. Mm. The coffee ice is completely melted but the temperature is pretty chilled. It's just perfect, if you ask me. Let's compare it with the other ones. Mm. This is now a bit lighter because the added ice we left is making a bit less strong. It's a bit less intense. This is a more concentrated experience. This one make it a bit easier to drink, but just if you're not used to stronger alcohol, because it's not a hard drink to drink this one. It's a really sweet dessert-like drink. Again, the small coffee ices, ice cubes that are left give a nice feeling. And should I try again this one? It's not really a fair comparison. Ah, so sweet! Now in comparison, this is like just sugar. 
holy cow how much sugar is in the kalua it's insane so there you go i offer you a couple of ways on how to make a better uh, white russian sincerely i don't know if you can call it a white russian anymore let's call it julius mocha number one and julius mocha number two they are both excellent you can uh, choose the one you like best if you like shaken cocktails and you prefer the taste because this one gives you like a really nice feeling on your mouth or if you prefer the experience of pouring the cream in uh, your white russian then this one is the one for you this one just leave it to the dude so please uh, like subscribe type your heart out in the comments below do whatever you want shake yourself a drink and i will see you next time cheers So now let's talk about something serious. Why the Big Lebowski became such a cult classic. And I think the main reason is the extensive rewatchability that the film has. And that is due to the fact that the plot doesn't matter at all in the movie. It doesn't matter what the dude is doing what uh, he's looking for all that matters is every single situation every single scene as incredible dialogue the characters are perfect the cast matches the characters to a t and that makes every scene so memorable and the fact that the plot doesn't allow you to really think like which scene is supposed to follow one another actually helps with the rewatchability because once a scene is over most likely you're not gonna remember what's gonna come next but as soon as the few frames of a new scene start you're gonna have already a smile on your face because what you know is the scene is gonna be awesome and the characters you care about are awesome and uh, it's just great that's like the hardest trick to pull in a movie not make it like plot driven but character driven and scene driven just like you want to see this single scene and each scene with the excellent dialogue makes it a unique experience so when one scene is over like what's gonna be the next scene is gonna be in a mode art studio is gonna be the one where the walter go and crash the red car of uh, of that kid uh, is gonna be the nihilist is gonna be the green tool is gonna be philip seymour hoffman Sam Elliot, who cares? Everything is great. I love that movie. And if you're still one of a person, there are some highly respectable person that don't like the movie. Well, I guess it's not your cup of tea, but that's just like your opinion, man.